going on guys we are out in the woods today well actually my brother jacob and i are we're testing out a new flintlock rifle that he just built and i'm testing out uh, that cap lock that i'm refinishing so yeah don't mind the red marks on the trees there's some logging operations going to go on um, probably in the spring and right now what we're doing is looking for some sticks that we can tie together and make a like a hanger for our steel target so yeah i'll show you that once we get it set up this is our setup for a target this is just a steel gong and um a lot of people worry about steel ricocheting if you hit it but that's why it swings i mean there's a procedure you use for shooting steel what happens is when the bullet impacts it swings back and all, most of almost all the ricochet hits the ground uh, right in front, but we uh, stand quite a quite a ways back, just in case, and we always use eye protection and whatnot. So, so that can sometimes happen with flint locks, which is why uh, they started actually going to cap locks. So he's just re repriming the pan right now with some powder he's keeping his muzzle pointed downrange just in case an errant spark actually sets that powder charge off Hey guys, good afternoon. It is uh, about 4.30 in the afternoon right now. And um, I got out of work at about 3.30 today and I am meeting with Caitlin um, from Mint Raid Hand Dyed Yarns. Her and I are meeting up for coffee. So we like to do this about once a month if we can. Sometimes it's a little longer in between. But um, yeah, so I'm really, really excited to go see her. And um, yeah, I need it. It's been, it's been busy. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to this, so. The inside. Alright guys, it is evening now and we're just hanging out. We're probably going to watch a Christmas movie in a little bit. Um, I am starting to fill out some Christmas cards, so I'm really excited about that to get those out in the mail. And um, yeah, I'm just watching some Vlogmas and we're just hanging out. I'm just going to wind down for the night. So yeah, um, sorry these vlogs have been very like eventful lately for me. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been, I've just been out of it lately, so... But yeah, we'll get you some more footage at some point. But <laughs> thanks for uh, sticking with it, guys. And yeah, see you later.
Hey guys, so we just got done um, filming a podcast. I've got Christmas music on Pandora. And um, yeah, so I've got to go to work at 12.30 um, and it's 10.45. So I am going to get the podcast um, videos imported into the computer. That way when I am ready to edit, maybe I can even get a little bit of it done today. Um, I can get it going, so I'll get it up fast for you guys. So. Yeah, I don't know how much of um, vlogging I'm going to get done today because I work 12.30 time, but um, Ethan's probably going to get some footage too. So, all right guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you later. Hey everybody, so I'm out in the woods today with my brother Jacob and we're testing out our uh, muzzle loaders, his flint lock that he just built and my cap lock. We came out here yesterday and we were having some, some issues with getting the powder to ignite. We're not sure whether it was packed a little too tightly or whether the powder was a little bit wet or whether it was because we had a black powder substitute. But today we're out here and we have two brand new, um, two brand new jars of powder and they're real black powder this time. It's actual Go-X black powder, not any substitute. So it should ignite properly and we should get some pretty cool footage for you guys. This is what we're using today. This is, like I was saying earlier, this is real black powder. This is actually really, really hard to find. We managed to get some um, at a spot that there's only four places in the entire state, I think the guy said, that, that sell this stuff. Because as you can see, explosive. So it's got a little bit different storage requirements from modern smokeless powder and um, black powder substitutes. So you gotta be a little bit more careful with this stuff. So really excited to try this out. I haven't actually been able to use black powder in a long, long time. So I figured I'd give you guys a quick rundown on how a flintlock um, Kentucky rifle works. And this is for pretty much any flintlock out there. This is your lock right here. This is your frizzin. And what you do is you close this frizzin, it's made of steel, and then there's a flint right here. You cock it to full cock, and then when you fire, you see those sparks? That's from the flint hitting the steel, creates the sparks. You put powder in this little pan right here, and that powder ignites when the sparks hit it, which ignites powder inside the barrel itself, which ignites, um, ignites that powder and sends the bullet going straight out the barrel so i'll show you guys how i load this really really quick so this is a half cock so it can't fire even if i pull the trigger it can't fire because it's at half cock that's where the saying don't go off half cocked is from so what i'm going to do first is we're going to load from the muzzle that's why they're called muzzle loaders and we take a charge that we've made up and you make up your charges, you don't pour from an actual flask because if there's an ember in there, you only want it igniting this little charge as opposed to igniting the entire flask of powder. So what I'm gonna do is take this charge and I'm going to point it away from my face in case it does go off. And I'm going to pour this powder charge down the barrel and then close my little powder flask up. The next thing I'm going to do is grab a bullet and a patch. Do we have any patches or is this the only one, Jake? All right, so I'm going to cut myself a little patch. These shoot patched round balls. You can do this on the gun too, but it's just easier for me to do it this way right now. So I'm just going to cut this patch out go. This is a lubricated patch so then the patch goes on top of the bore and then the barrel or the ball goes on top of the patch and then I'm going to take a little ball starter which gets it started in the bore because it's a rifle it's the bore is a little tight so I'll just pound that down until the ball is in the bore. Next thing I'm going to do is take the end of the ball starter and get it started more into the barrel until it's all the way down. Then I'm going to take my ramrod and this will go all the way down and seat the bullet all the way to the base of the powder. You don't want any airspace between the powder and the bullet because then the gun can blow up. So I'll put the ramrod back in. Next thing I'm going to do 
is flip the frizzen open and I'm going to take this little powder primer or this uh, little priming tool and it's going to take really fine powder that's finer than what we're using in the barrel and it's going to prime this up and because that this uh, locks a little tricky I actually have to put it at full cock to do this but you should never have to do that we got to work on it a little bit so I've got powder in my pan I'm gonna close that frizzen up I'm at full cock so I got to be very very careful where I'm pointing this you should always be careful and then I'm gonna sight down on my target and hopefully we'll hit something and I missed Nice.